chalk supplements. <clears throat> what are they? What do they do? Are they going to kill me? Let me, let me, let's weed through it together. Branching amino acids, BCAAs, help you with your recovery and you need them if you're working out longer than 90 minutes or you're finding yourself excessively sore. Glutamine, I like it at night, it also aids in recovery and it also helps push out excess water while you sleep. L-carnitine helps you metabolize your existing fat, so burn your existing fat. CLA is taken three times a day and it will also help you burn through your existing fat. Awesome. Fish oil and multivitamin. <clears throat> Everyone should be on them. Period. They are the essentials. They keep your cells functioning optimally and they keep you healthy. You need them regardless. I don't care who you are. <laughs> Let's talk stimulant. Pre-workout has stimulant in it, aka caffeine. It stimulates your central nervous system. We also offer a stim-free version, which will allow your muscles to blah, blah, blah. let's try that again. Which will allow your muscles to squeeze harder, longer, which means more muscle built, which is good for you because more muscle means more fat burned. More fat burned at rest means a leaner, tighter you. So, anyways, pre-workout. It'll keep you working out and it'll keep you focused and it'll give you energy. Awesome. Fat burners are very similar except for they don't have an effect on your muscles. They allow you to burn fat all day long. It comes in stimulant and stimulant free. Carbohydrates. Everyone needs a carb matrix if you're working out longer than 90 minutes and you are not refueling. Your body needs carbs to function so you don't deplete your muscle stores. Remember, more muscle burns fat at rest. Skinny, lean, tight, you. <laughs> The last one is protein. Protein is just important because you need to use a form of protein that your body can absorb, right? So I can't do whey, so I don't do whey because my body doesn't do well with whey. No whey? Now a lot of you get confused with what isolate is, concentrate, what casein is. Some of you don't know what I'm talking about. All of those are different kinds of protein. So an isolate is easier to absorb for your body, but it usually gets foamier and it doesn't taste as good. Most proteins are composed of an isolate and a concentrate, and they are pretty good. You don't need to worry about that though. Casein, we need to worry about, it's a completely different thing. It is a kind of protein, it clots when it hits your stomach. It takes a long time to digest, so it will keep you fuller longer. A lot of people take this before they go to bed. This keeps their muscle from depleting while they're asleep and you wake up really hungry because your metabolism is still up. Winning. Any more questions? Email me. <laughs>